going to cut straight through the forest to catch up with Juliet's train. We're going to take a few shortcuts to shake the Germans off our tail. Checkpoint. This should be fun. I'm not gonna stop. No, no, no. We have a train to catch! at our 10 o'clock. Take them out. Another checkpoint. Hey, watch the lights, Fritz. Should catch up to the train in a few minutes. I've done some crazy stuff in my time, but I think this takes the cake. Let's get you into position. Company, enemy motorcycles inbound. Take them out, Lieutenant.
cut through the fuel depot. They'd be crazy to shoot at us. Maintain cover. Don't shoot anything. Another reason for these Gestapo pricks. Uh, I just hope the genius is back at this place. <laughs> I don't know why we need out. But now we are two hours late. It's just another reason for these Gestapo pricks to yell at us. Uh, I just hope the genius is back at this place with all the inbound You're here to rescue the prisoner. She's in the last car! At the end of the train! Ah! Ah! Lieutenant, find your way to the back of the train. Be careful.
halfway to Juliet. Keep going, but keep your head down. It's a gun! Ah! 
Thank you, Lieutenant. Your arrival provided the perfect instruction I needed to break free. How is my sister? Hello? Sergeant, it's Juliet and the Lieutenant. How is my mom? She's going to be fine. Listen, we have a new pressing issue. You're on a collision course with a southbound train loaded with fuel and ammunition. You need to get out of there on the double. We're going too fast, John. We'll have to decouple the cars. Hurry. Uncle Marcel taught me a thing or two. I'll go and separate us from the train. You, hit the brakes to slow us down. Let's get you back to your sister. The invasion is tomorrow, and you won't let us land with our unit? Your old unit, Sergeant. You three are no longer combat engineers. You are now invaluable OSS assets. Your orders for the invasion are to brief and advise, not participate. Is that why we have this overgrown babysitter? The MP is a request from General Donovan himself. He knows about your special relationship with orders you don't agree with. Permission to speak freely, sir? No. I'll think he was gonna say this is complete bullshit. Horseshit, actually, but close enough, Holly. Gentlemen, that beach tomorrow will be a meat grinder and you know it. Our unit is short-handed without us. They're going to get killed! That's enough, Sergeant. You're dismissed. The Sergeant is the bravest soldier I've ever known. You know he still carries German shrapnel from the Western Front in his back? Causes him pain every waking moment. But you'll never hear him complain. He does his best to hide it. But there's one thing, one simple truth, he can't hide from. Sir? Ali, there's one certain, absolute, unbreakable truth in this universe. And the sergeant knows it better than anyone. You ever wonder why someone with his experience doesn't carry a much higher rank? 1936, the Spanish Civil War. The Nazis get involved in a big way, using it as a test run for their... New planes and tanks. The United States stays neutral, of course, but the sergeant's son, his only son, is one of these idealistic young men that runs off and volunteers to fight. With little or no training, these boys are going up against a fascist juggernaut. When he hears the news about his son volunteering, the sergeant asks permission to go after him. It's denied, so Sarge goes AWOL. Hops on a tramp steamer to Spain, lands on the coast, and races to the front line. When he finally gets there, he learns his son was killed the day before in a Stuka attack. 
I had no idea. I'm the one who got him out of the stockade after his court martial. As you might imagine, the sergeant was a very tough father. Never told his son that he loved him. And now, he lives every day with the fact that he never will. So as I said, the sergeant knows the truth better than anyone. It's a truth that transcends ideology and borders. And that truth is, war kills young men. Why don't you two go see Huxley? Dismissed. You're being sent to advise the 82nd Airborne on what you saw in France. But then, your orders are to come back here. I wish I could help you. I wish I could tell you that Colonel Ebbets is friends with the airbase commander. And that the deployment orders are waiting for you inside the tower. And I wish I could tell you I'll be waiting for you aboard ship in the channel Attach the fuse container to your chest. Stick the fuse into the explosive. Lieutenant. Clear the reach. Now, can come ashore.
I always thought the number of takeoffs was supposed to match the number of landings, but I guess you boys in the 82nd are the exception to that rule. I know this is the first time some of you will see combat. I know you're scared. Well, let me be clear with all of you, I'm scared too. Never forget, the Nazis are smart. They didn't take over half the civilized world by accident. They are the best trained and best equipped fighting force the world has ever seen, and they are the most evil. That's why we're here. We're here to free those they've enslaved. And to avenge those they've killed. I look forward to seeing you all in France. That was very moving, Sergeant. We need to get you back to headquarters. I have orders to return you to Whitehall before 1900 hours. Roger that, Private, of course. But before we go, the Colonel asked me to pick up a bottle of sherry from the airbase commander. Mm-mm. No, Sergeant. No can do. What's the problem? It's right over there in the tower. I have extremely specific orders. I am to escort you to the flight line, return you to the Jeep, and back to London. Because of your special history, we are not to deviate from that plan. It's just a bottle of sherry. You want to be the one to disappoint the Colonel when we come back without it? <laughs> I know I don't. Oh, what about the Lieutenant? Come on, war hero. Okay. Lieutenant, we'll meet you back at the Jeep. Can I drive back to London? We've been over this before, Sergeant. Absolutely not. Just part way. No! Colonel sure loves his sherry. pressure system is going to go here, and if it goes north, then we should be clear. But, how do, you know, how do you know these things? I don't know. I don't know, but we got to keep an eye on it, and that, so all the operations go smoothly. Okay. Now, on the other hand, low pressure system. Did you see the frequency button? Did you see the room? Well, did you see the report from General Eisenhower? We're going to have to move out soon. He's really rolling the dice here. Right. If we got spotty weather, it's just going to complicate the entire operation. Two day. Sergeant? Sergeant, please. Sergeant, please. Please, Sergeant. Sergeant, please exit the vehicle. But I really want to drive. I am not going to ask you again, sir. Just in time. Sergeant. 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 Private, would you like to see a magic trick? What? Look what's behind my ear. Hey. Grenade! So, where to, Ollie? Weymouth, in Dorset. Weymouth. Oh, it's gonna be close. 
So how much trouble do you think we're in? Quite a bit, Ollie. Quite a bit. We're headed one of two places. France. Or the stockade. Lieutenant, you need to find the present the Quartermaster left for us. Find those supplies, or we'll be attacking Nazi Germany with just our wits. Hello there, Lieutenant. I didn't know you were back. Good luck, Lieutenant. Life is usually a pageant of idiots and fools. Hey, sir, we can't believe it. No one knew what happened to you after the new assignment. But now we're back. Men, the clock is running. We're shoving off. We all know it's going to be a tough job ahead. It's good for us to be together. That's all we can ask for. Uh -huh. 
Open. I repeat, Dog Red is open. Send in every tank we've got. Yes, this is it. Copy that. Standing by. Yes, sir. Yes, we're all still alive. Thank you, sir. I'll let them know. That was the colonel. Worth, he says we're all still in the army. Ten thousand times worse than I ever expected. But you did great, son. You saved a lot of men. Then we get moving. Long road to Berlin. <laughs> 